Welcome to My TV, brought to you by www.myafricanidea.com. This is the second in our series looking at young Afro pioneers, people with a distinct African flavour or focus. I'm delighted to introduce to you a Nollywood celebrity, O.C. Ukeje. <laughs> <laughs> O.C., what does that stand for? Um, always okay, Chuku. Mm -hmm. uh, C's Chukuri. Right. Uh, first of middle names, but benefits of, you know, advanced parents, they call me O.C. I, I kind of figured they figured that I will need the name for something much later <laughs> in life, you know, so that, I mean, if they mention the name, then it's easy to identify. Yeah. No problem. Um, okay, so, O.C., for those of you that don't know, mm -hmm. is a fast-rising star in Nollywood who started his career in singing and starring in stage productions. He's also a multi award winner. His first, one of his first awards was um, the Amstel Malta Box Office reality TV show. And since then, he's been on something of an acting role. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty much, you start <laughs> with sort of all the big Nollywood stars. You've got Rita Dominic, yeah. Stella Damasus, mm -hmm. and recently you've starred with um, Bimbo Akintola in Nollywood's first musical thriller. Yeah. It's impressive. Thank you. Um, he's <laughs> also set to come to our screens pretty soon next year alongside A-listers, Hollywood A-listers, such as Tandy Newton, Anita Nonny Rose, and Chiwetel Ejiofor in the adaptation of Chimamanda Adichie's worldwide international bestseller, Half of the Yellow Sun. I see, welcome. Thank you, it's I mean, it was good to, <laughs> to just hear, you know, this being read out, I think, okay, that's a really good guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thank know, you. You know what I mean. Thank you, it's great to have you on our sofa. Thank you. Wow. So, well, um, amongst your many accolades, another one is that we've read that you're, you've worked with Mickey Rook, Vivica Fox, and Kim Basinger in Jetta Amata's Black November. Same how guy. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, how exactly did you get that role? Um, I was I was doing a, an acting workshop in LA mm -hmm. in 2009 to 2010, okay. and um, I ran. Well, we heard that Jetta was in town and he was casting for a new movie he was working on. You know, and I mean, typically, actor, you really want to get on the projects that, are, you know, would make sense for your career. So we found his number, called him up, we hear you're doing this. We found his number, is he the phone? <laughs> yeah, well, we asked him. <laughs> we just, you know, asked the right people, you know, and the number popped out. Yeah, it will always pop out. Fantastic. You know, and then, um, oh, we're interested in doing this, and he says, okay, uh, we will talk. Mm -hmm. And then the program was done, came back to Nigeria, and then the original cast had um, Billy Zane, mm -hmm. um, Sarah Wayne Callies, and uh, Hakim K. Kazim. Wow. And then both of them were shooting their bits in Nigeria, but Billy Zane was supposed to be shot in LA. Okay. But it turns out that after we had done all the bits, and I shot my bits, and they were done, just uh, I mean, struck gold along the way, you yeah, know, and then got into... After you struck your gold. After, yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> You know, I got into conversations with, um, I think it was Paramount initially. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it has gone on to now because I know that all of a sudden I'm hearing, okay, they're getting Vivica Fox on the bill and they're getting Mickey wow. Rourke on the bill and then Kim Basinger, you know. And I'm just hearing these names, Matthew Madsen, you know. So they had bits, you know, mm -hmm. their bits short. And yes, the newest inclusions will be White House Jean and Akon. Wow. So, I mean, it's a long time coming. It's been t since 2010. Really? That yeah, long? It's, it's taken that long, you know, but I know that it'll finally be out before the year's done. That is fantastic. So, um, did you get to work with any of these guys, or are you all shooting your bits individually, or...? Sadly, I only got to work with uh, Hakeem and Sarah Winkalis. Okay. I, I figure um, Jetta originally did not envisage that this would go this way. Mm -hmm. Now, you know when you want to start off your project, you have a budget and you figure who you can afford. Mm. You know, but beyond that, I mean, I guess he just walked into the right rooms, you know, and got into the right conversations, and they thought, this is really nice, you know, so he started calling, you know, people that needed to be called. Mm -hmm. But it's just good to be part of the project, yeah, even though I didn't work with no, them. It's, you know. it's a great thing to, you know, be associated with. That's fantastic. Exactly. I mean, when is it due out? Uh, December 21st in Africa. I hear it hits cinemas across the world 7th of December. 7th of December. Yeah, okay, so check it out, guys. That's um, Jetta Matters Black November exactly. with our very own OC. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, like we mentioned earlier, you starred in the premiere um, musical thriller yeah. called Hollywood. Yeah. I mean, 
that can't have been much of a stretch for you because you started <laughs> off your career in singing, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> even though the thing is, with music in Nigeria, and I guess like uh, everywhere else, it's really expensive when you fund it yourself. Mm. You know, so I, I had these two things going. There was music and there was acting. The issue is, I was trying to find a balance, you know, between both of them because they're both very demanding. You know, and I was, you know, torn between both of them. But it just happened that acting started picking up a lot faster. Um, and I mean, you do the work, you get paid, you have the money to do what you need to do. Of you know, pay bills. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it, it turns out that, um, I mean, I follow the acting and I figure that it's the platform that when you get to a certain level, mm -hmm. you can do whatever else you want to do. Nonetheless, I've been recording material. Mm -hmm. So when this came up, funny, I met the guy in LA as well. Oh, seems like LA is the place. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a Nigerian who is working um, on his filmmaking workshop. Mm -hmm. You know, he came back to Nigeria, had auditions, I hopped on, and you know, so it was just brilliant to do this because he had everything ready. We recorded the songs, and then we shot for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it wasn't a bit of a stretch. It was just interesting to find that someone was interested in fusing both. Yeah, okay. you know. I mean. Just to link it back to Afrofinance, that's a pretty pioneering thing to do in Hollywood. I mean, it's exactly. not something that we're typically known for. Precisely. So, what was that like, being one of the you know pioneers of the new <laughs> genre of film? Well, um, it, it really did feel good. Mm. Because um, seeing him in, in LA made me realize that he is serious minded. You know, so... Um, when he initially sent word about what he was working on, I was a little skeptical because I've seen one or two attempts, <laughs> attempts, I have to say, you know, at making some sort of musical. I, it is caricature, you know, it is, you know. But I mean, I, I, I listened to the music and I'm like, okay, so this guy, you know, and we had a music director who had worked all the songs out and what he wanted each person to sound like okay. with each song, you know. So it felt really good to be part of this project, knowing also that he was determined to make it as golden as it will be when it comes out. And when is that? And uh, we premiere on the 12th of October. Wow. And then we'll start taking it. Fantastic. Yeah, that's really <laughs> busy guy. I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, I suppose that would neatly sort of segue you into because I was going to ask you, as soon as you started in singing and your acting career is just taken off, mm -hmm. I mean, do you plan to f pursue your um, singing further or are you going to try and find a way to marry that? Or are you just going to be a series of musicals? <laughs> <laughs> I know. No. You know, the good Maybe thing. Josh Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good life at all. And as long as those opportunities come up, you'll always take them. Yeah, of course. You know, um, but I mean, music is is here. Mm. You wake up, they tap you from sleep. It just comes out. Oh, wow. You know, and then I have these songs that have been sitting in books for God knows how many years. Mm -hmm. You know that yeah, some of them we may need to redefine some, we may need to scrap out entirely, and then so write you're a song. I do my best. <laughs> 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 you know, and then some of them they've already been recorded. I don't know if they will ever be released or well, that you'll see the light of day um but yes i intend to do music okay. and then there are okay. people who've done this well will smith mm -hmm. uh yes, jimmy fox yeah. you know so and they've been successful at both i mean relatively but definitely i mean it's just simple like exactly yes you're also yeah, you know. <laughs> you know? oc one day mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that's what we're talking about we will hear and what's your, um, typically, what's your style of music? I mean, what do you listen to? What do you like to play? What do you like to sing? Uh, R&B. Oh. And uh, acoustic soul. Oh. I, I love, you know, R&B is always, was always there. Would you care yeah. like to give us a little sample? Just a, yeah, just a, I, I, I suppose I can. Oh, okay. <coughs> Let's see. Um, for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is uh, Lauren Hill's uh, Kill Me Softly. Friend of friend did this recently at an audition. I heard she sang a good song. I heard she had a smile. And so I came to see her and listen for a while. Yeah, yeah. And there she was, this young one. Stranger to my eyes, strumming my pain with her fingers, mm. telling my life with her words. Do, do, kill 
Killing me softly with her song Killing me softly with her song Telling my whole life with her life <laughs> Killing me softly Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> stakes in the ground and oh. you know, macking territory and yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that's where I'm working. Right. I should be expecting a invite. <laughs> you will hear from me when we have it ready. <laughs> Before the career came on board, I mean, humble family, uh, two siblings, civil servant, mom, you know, the dad was okay. Yeah. And then you go through the process of um, change of homes, loss of job, you know, those, you know, really difficult seasons that you have. Yeah. And then loss of a parent, um, and yeah, my dad. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. And then um, enter the season where, I mean, single mom who's trying to support three children, you know, but most importantly, I think at the time she realized that she would just let us do anything we wanted to do. That's you know? really good. Yeah. And, and very progressive. And very progressive. Like exactly. You know, because I mean, you're studying one thing, but you have interest somewhere else, yeah. and then she's cool with it, wow. you know. So, um, by the time I got into the university, I was able to do anything that I wanted to do. You know, by year two, it was the first... Uh, risk I was going to take, I was actually going to be third semester because we were supposed to come to the UK to do stage productions. And then the issue was, how do I tell my mom? Exactly. You know? How did you? I don't know. I, 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 I ate some liver that was <laughs> cut out of a lion. And then I, I told her. And then she says, well, if it's worked out this far, would I be the one to tell you not to do it? At that point, I knew that there was nothing that my mom was not going to agree to. So from that point on, I just knew, okay, so... The world, I could do anything oh, else. Right. Yeah. So I mean, from then on, and then I started doing music. Um, I worked with a couple organizations. I was doing stage plays as well, doing all of this in school, combining them all. And then by my final year, I figured, okay, I want to do this for the rest of my life. How's the way to go mainstream? And then Ambo came in. I'm someone at the box office, ran okay. TV show. I won that, and then. Wow. We started fighting, you know, to get into business. You got your hustle on. <laughs> then the hustle started. So yeah, that's that's pretty much in a nutshell. Oh. What's happened? So that, well, that that's um that's amazing. So what what do you think that's kept you going? Like you said, you had a, a couple of very difficult periods in your life, mm. and um, would you say that the most important thing was the support from your mother, or was there things that were just Propelling, what propelled you to keep on going and to have that belief that you could, coming from where you were, yeah. be on the international stage, yeah. working with A-listers, both yeah. in Hollywood and in Hollywood? Hmm. Well, um, initially, I will tell you, it wasn't anything I did consciously. No. I think it was just the, the need to stay in course with proper upbringing. Yeah. I think my mom did a fantastic job with that. And so we just told that line. You know, go mom. <laughs> you know, and then, you know, it gets to the point where you realize, okay, you're walking a straight and narrow, and then you kind of identify with the things you want to do. And then at the second stage, it was simply love for what I was doing. I just enjoyed doing it. Nobody was, you know. But by the time it became super serious, yeah. then it was the need to want to, you know, make a difference. Yeah. You know, and I know that sounds cliche, you know, but. I mean, to genuinely contribute to an industry that we were generally always doing substandard stuff and nobody was trying to improve the standards of what we were doing, you know. And I know that, yeah, Nigeria is difficult as it is, but I mean, 
they pay the money, you don't care what you're doing, you know. So it was just, just generally to be able to stand out and make a difference, yeah. you know, so that you can say that it is possible for you to be young, mm -hmm. to aspire to do something really good, yeah. you know, and be able to stay through the course, you know, and not have to, yeah. But from a very young age, you've been aspiring to greatness, especially within the Nollywood industry, pushing the boundaries. Yeah. And when you've got a few movies coming out, I've seen the trailers, they look amazing. I mean, would you like to talk us through them? And... Um... Well, I have a couple of movies in the pipeline. Uh, Hood Rush, which is a musical, the uh, premieres on 12th of October. Teaser, trailers, um, all on the internet. Um, there's Confusion Now, as a matter of fact, with a British producer. Confusion Now. Exactly. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we had to reshoot some of the scenes early this year. Mm -hmm. um, so I, we don't have a date for that yet. Okay. But there's The Awakening. Mm -hmm. um, which should be out in November, premieres in November. There is um, um, Black November, mm -hmm. which is in December. Uh, there is the Rubicon, which I shot here earlier this year, mm -hmm. uh, January into February. We don't have dates for that yet, but What's materials, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff coming up, and then there are trailers. So if you just Google, you know, or YouTube. Google OC UK, yeah. go on YouTube yeah. and look out for the following movies, Comrade, Confusion Hour, Hood Rush and The Awakening. But, wow, honestly, it has been a genuine pleasure to have you on the show, sir. Um, I really believe that you're one of the young pioneers that are making a big difference, and um, it's just been amazing to have you on here. I mean, do you want to give any shout outs to any of your uh, people? Well, t f always, firstly, to my mum. Of course. You know, for <laughs> letting me do it all. Mm -hmm. You know, and then to everyone else who has pretty much watched this space. You know, it's been a long time coming, but it's beginning to happen. Yeah. You know, so thank you all of you who supported, who stayed. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Fantastic. And just we always like to round up um, each segment with a word of inspiration from our guest stars. So what would be your word of inspiration to all the Afro pioneers, um, would be actors yeah. or you know, people just who are looking up and thinking, how do I make that transition mm. from wherever I am now, to where I want to be. Right. Um, I always say this, and it's always this, there is a place called Forward. Mm -hmm. If you always remember that, and um, if you remember that Forward is so much more beautiful, it's so much better than where we are. And um, as a country, as individuals, you know, we need to get to that point where we're no longer doing things as they used to be. Yeah. If you remember that there is a place called Forward, Wonderful. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, guys. Um, this has been My TV, brought to you by www.myafricanidea.com. Think forward. <laughs>